us some really bad technical difficulties. <laughs> yeah, unfortunately. That happens. It does. But we are up and running, and the session will start in 35 seconds. Copy that. Formation lap. Give the guys time to sort out their uh, their setups quickly. Agreed. Yes. Yeah, they're definitely gonna have to get that going again. Cause if not, well, it's gonna be a long race for some of these races today. Yes, it will. One of these weeks, we'll get it right first time, you know. We'll get it. Uh, we'll <laughs> definitely get it going eventually. Yeah, it just, just takes a bit of time, doesn't it? That's what it does. A little bit of time. Yes, yes, it does. We'll get there. Makes it a bit more exciting. Makes it a bit more, you know, on the edge of your seat, seat kind of stuff. It really does, though. You know, and we're about to be on the edge of our seat right now, so it's going to be a great race, I think. Yeah, me too. I'm putting, uh, I'm putting a bit, I'm going to put some pressure on Young Epic Boy. I think he's going to do well. I think that's who I'm going for. As long as he stays out of trouble, I think he'll be okay. Um, I actually got my money go. on GNR actually tonight. Here we go on oh, the Here formation go. lap. Formation oh. lap. As we're sitting there with uh, Young Epic Boy, as you're the front of the grid, followed by GNR, followed by Milan. Followed by Russell, followed by Snowy, Axel, Gaming, Craig, Racer Will, Powerhouse, and Wurzel. Yeah, so the grid is. Well, sadly, we're missing two drivers. Or actually, no, sorry. We're, we're missing, missing three. Three. So three I think drivers. So I think Sasha put himself on as a spectator instead of a, a taking part. So I think we've lost him now as well. I think unfortunately. so, yeah. But it looks like everybody's going nice and clean, nice and smooth. Don't have to go too fast on the on the formation lap. Just warm up your tires, get your engine up to speed, and get ready for that start. With 29 laps, let's see what we what these guys can do today. So we got we got Mercedes on the front, and we got Mercedes in the back. It should be an interesting one, that's to say the least, you know. Um, I think Wuaz will be able to get uh, that Mercedes back to the to the front of the grid. So, um, but this is going to be an interesting one, though. Racing Will opted for the medium tire. Interesting. So the predicted pit stop strategy: soft lap ten to twelve. They reckon? I would say so. I would say so. You know, he can probably push those medium tires probably till about lap, I'd say 16, maybe 17. Around there, I think he's going to try to pit and then probably pit for the softs to, to finish out the race. Yeah, so here it's we go. Close, so it's going to be really tight. Epic Boy has just got to his pit box. Wills is just now coming to the, just coming around the last bend, or the second, the last penultimate bend, shall we say? Uh, to to make his place a little bit of a wait there for Epic Boy at the front. Let's tyres go a little bit colder, and then we'll be underway. There yeah, you go. The grid is almost forming up. We're just so for, a, for, for a one powerhouse. for a one stop, they reckon lap ten to twelve straight to hards, soft to hards. That's what they're saying. Here we go then. I mean, that could work. It's possible. All right, the grid is set. Three, four red and lights, five red lights, and we are going. We're on the way. And we're off. Oh, so everybody looks like so they looks got like, a really good yeah. start. So Milan's got the front. GNR's going on the inside. Yep, Milan to Epic Boy. Oh, sorry, GNR to Epic Boy to Milan, should we say. Looks like everyone's got a nice clean start. Very sport. clean start by yeah. everybody. We'll just watch the. We'll just stay at the front for a moment, then we'll, we'll we'll pop down the field and have a look, see what's going on. 
Wow, that was an amazing start by GNR yeah. though, getting that inside line. Yeah. And <laughs> now Epic Boy is honestly uh, pressuring Kiwi right now though. So let's see if he can. He's on. He's on the pressure he, himself. He won't, uh, fold under pressure. Yeah. This could be an interesting yes. battle at the front. Matt, very clean start though. That's the cleanest I've seen yet. Is that people we want? Yeah, five tenths? To 11 and 12. Five tenths he is. Four tenths now. He's fluttering between four to five. Five tenths behind uh, GNR. Some good battles at the back as well. If you have a look here with Rafa and Gaming. Gaming's going in. Oh. It's It's very clean racing so far. Um, everybody's trying to push, you know, and yep. coming out of turn, uh, f coming out of the final turn, mm -hmm. GNR is going to be staying in, in first place. Got about a one second lead on Epic Boy right now, too. But Milan is Ma definitely oh, pressuring Milan is, uh, Epic Milan Boy is, right now. Yeah, he's tucked right up behind him, he is. Oh, who's that? Oh, got, we got oh some no. Going into the pit. GNR's gone. GNR spun. He's down to six right now. Gina spun. Oh man, just probably lost it. Probably Damn hit that sick. apex a little too fast. Yeah. So it looks like the three that pitted was Racing Wheel. Uh, Epic, Bo Epic Boy's Race had a spin Bowl. as well. Epic Boy's had a spin. Pushed himself down to oh, fifth, sixth. Wow. GNR Every and Epic Boy, both of them. Getting Everybody was getting pressured a little too much. Uh, Ray Epi Cole, uh opted for the hard tires. Yeah, and Epic Boy pits up a three-second time penalty as well. Oh, man. What is going on out here so far? A little bit of carnage uh, first couple of laps already. Yeah. This, hopefully the, the field can cycle through what they need to cycle through, and hopefully we can get um, some good so, game racing out there. So you got, another, you got another battle here with F Powerhouse Epic Boy and GNR now at the back. Oh, Epic Boy's going for the squeeze. Oh, man. Yes, they are racing a little too hard. A little too hard. They need to back it off a little bit. Otherwise, they're going to take care each other out of this race. Well, Epic hard. Boy's gone round. I'll tell you who's who snuck up the back. Old Wooza. Wooza snuck in the back there, isn't he? Coming up from the back yes, of the yes, grid to did. eighth. And he's just tucked up there behind GNR without knowing. There you go. GNR's got him now on the, down the straight. Yep. Will Wooza get him as well? Yeah, That's the question. And now DN, uh, DRS is now enabled, so now we're going to see some good overtaking. And it looks like uh, Craig X actually uh, lost it there in Sector 2, coming out of Sector 2. Well, he's a, yeah, struggling at the back in that Williams, isn't he? Set on a set of mediums. Just, I'll tell you the battle you want to... So Wuzz is a battle you want to be looking at. Wuzz and Powerhouse, quite close. And at the front as well, you want to look at Gaming and Milan. They are very close. Five tenths between them. This could be the yeah, battle to watch. About. Oh, looks like Powerhouse has picked up a penalty as well. A time penalty. Yeah, Milan is, is looking good. He's looking very consistent at the at the front. But Gaming is... He's right up on him with that AlphaTauri though. Yeah. And with his DRS zone coming up here, uh, starting... Uh, in the last sector, we might actually be able to see him trying to get past him on this straightaway. Yeah. If he can Look. keep it close here. So Racing Wheels just picked up a three second penalty as well. Obviously for track limits. Here you go, DRS yeah. open now for gaming. Let's see if he can cut uh, that he's down. He's not gonna be close enough. No. He's gonna be able to cut it down, but he's not gonna, definitely not gonna be close enough to make so a, cut it. A down for about, he cut it down for about eight tenths to seven tenths. So he did not really yeah, much out of open it. Again. Oh, we got a spin in sector three. There you go. That's powerhouse. He's gone off on that tricky corner at the end. Let's go back to oh, the front. Oh, oh, yep. His his tires must be really hot. Yeah. Oh, hopefully he doesn't get in his way. Oh, he barely got. He almost took out his uh, teammate there too. Oh, so I am looking at. Oh, I'm still looking at first and second with gaming in Milan. This could be this battle could go on for a few laps yet. Yeah. yeah, it surely can, yes. So we got a couple penalties out there right now. Epic Boy with three seconds, Racing Wheel with three, and Powerhouse with three. Yeah. I'll tell you what, a game has got this down to two temps or three temps now. Will he make when will he make this move? Ooh, He's another, gonna have to make it soon. Another spinner in sector sector three, we've got a spinner as well. 
Uh, looks like Snowy Nevada went around with in his uh, Williams. Yeah. I'm just... Uh, well, sorry, I'm just going to stay with this for now because they're so close oh, to each other. Oh, virtual. We got a virtual safety car out. Virtual oh, safety we car. have. What's this for? Who's we lost? No, I don't think we lost anybody, but I think it's uh, debris. Probably too much debris, yeah, and then the marshals uh, decided that a virtual safety car was needed. So everybody's delta is going to have to drop. It looks like uh, Snowy Nevada is going to go ahead and come into the pit. It's probably going to change out his tires. I think they were a little too hot. Might be a chance for a... Too early, I'd say, for a cheap pit stop to hards. I don't think you'll see it towards the end after five laps. I think you. Yeah, oh, there you I go. Think so. Raffles just got a, a drive-through penalty for speeding under the under the uh, safety car, virtual safety car. That'll uh, be a drop. Um, that'll be a drive-through. Yep. Oh, who's that? Milan. Milan has just spun into the wall. Under the safety car. The virtual safety car. Oh, yep, he sure did, and he's back underway now, but now he has Epic Boy breathing right down on him oh, right now. Epic Boy's going to have him now, I'd say. We've got another spinner in Sector 3. Looks like one of the Alpines or a Williams. As Epic Boy oh, goes and... goes past Milan. Yes, and we did lose a driver. We did lose one. Uh, Krug X. X is actually yeah. out. Can Milan pull this position back now? That's the question. It looks like Epic Boy's starting to pull away. He is, yes. He is definitely slowly pulling away as of right now. Go quiet. Uh, everybody's still on uh, the soft tires as of right now, mm. except for Raphael. Oh, Jinnar just, Jinnar just gave a Milan a little shunt. Milan, is that Milan? Milan's into the pits. Overtaken in the pit lane. <laughs> <laughs> hey, I mean, that's one way to do it. Before, before you hit the speed, the speed trap, why not? Yeah, so I think... as of right now, we actually have a 1-2 so far with the Alpha Taris. Yeah, we do. With Gaming and a uh, with Ace, uh, both 1 and 2. Let's have a look at stops. So, at the moment, you've got Milan with one stop, Racer with one stop, Snowy with one stop, Ruffer with one stop, and Powerhouse with one stop. The rest was a GNR, Epic Boy, uh, Ace, and Gaming are yet to stop. And Milan... Yeah, it'll uh, be got, interesting to see. GNR's just got a purple sector in Sector 1. Yeah, it'll be interesting to see how long um, Ace and Gaming are willing to use uh, those uh, soft tires. Yeah, well, when we turn around, then we said 10 to 12, I would say, the last deal. And then after that, they want to be looking. Oh, Milan is, uh, good, sorry, GNI is on the edge again, sliding around some of them corners. You know, it, it looks like he's struggling a little bit. Maybe he didn't get the setup that he wanted in time for his car. Um, time's know, coming. car could be unbalanced. His time's coming down, though. Just over one and a half seconds, 1.8 seconds off. Epic boy. So, so far, our biggest mover so far today, as of right now, is gaming, where he moved up six positions. Wuwa's also moved up six positions. And the next one under that would be Ace, where he moved up four positions. Yeah, so I'm looking at, I am currently just looking at lap tie, uh, sorry, uh, laps, laps on the tires that they've got. So far, gaming's has six laps on his soft. Same as uh, Ace, Epic Boy, GNR, and Wuzza. Racing Wheel has got four. Milan has got a new set of softs. Snowy's have been one lap, and Raphael, interesting, hard, four laps, four laps old, and Powerhouse has just put on a new set of softs as well. You know, Rafael, he might be trying to do the hard to soft. He, I know that he probably has an extra set of softs that are brand new, so he might try to push uh, his Red Bull to about lap 20, I would say, and then try to come in for some soft tires. Yeah. Currently, I'm just watching uh, Milan now, fighting with Racing Wheel, three tenths behind him, right up behind Racing Wheel now in that Haas. I wonder how when will he make that move on the on the Alpine? You know, uh, what? being pressured in these F1 cars, you know, it's easy to make a mistake if you have somebody yeah. uh, right on your rear. So that I think that's what Milan is waiting for, waiting well, for the, Racing Wheel to just make that mistake. So the Racing Wheel's just collected a five, a three-second penalty for track limits. So I reckon, uh, so I reckon he has that pressure paid off. 
He's still behind yeah, him at the moment, DRS though. DRS open. Yeah, yeah, with DRS open on the on the outside. Let's see if he can get the move done. He gets and the move he does. done very cleanly. Very yeah, cleanly. That's a great move. Patient and made the move when he needed it. Exactly. So so far, actually toward the front, Epic Boy and GNR both are catching Ace right now. Yeah. Sorry, I just got. I just seen that uh, Epic Boy just picked up another three second time penalty. So this oh, could be this unlucky. could be costly. That'd be six, I don't believe that's six seconds he's got now. Yes, it is. Yeah, six, six seconds, seconds for him. Six seconds for Racing Wheel and six seconds for Powerhouse. Unfortunately, oh, Powerhouse man. is a lap down as we at the moment. Unfortunately, he could be wishing for a safety car. You know, and and at this track at Australia, you know, it's easy to get those, um, you know, going off the track and getting those track limit penalties because some of these turns, you know, if you don't break soon enough or if you're not breaking hard enough shifting down you can easily go off the track and and get those track limit penalties so hopefully oh, these guys will start slowing down because these penalties are going to hurt them in the long run oh of course they are i'm just uh currently now watching snowy obviously my teammate in tier one in the, in the old williams obviously i'm cheering him on he's now coming up behind racing wheel four tenths behind him let's see what he can do here again hopefully be patient and just pick his moment. Agreed. Yeah, you know, it's... Again, with these F1 cars, you know, you really got to be patient. You know, it's it's a lot of laps, a lot of turns, a lot of straightaways that'll give you that opportunity to make that pass. And you can't just try to do that within two laps. It's impossible. Yeah. So... But so far, Epic Boy is Link. catching Ace as of right now. Yes, he He's just one second behind Ace just at the moment. So Snowy opens DRS down the straight now. He's behind a racing wheel. He goes to the outside. Racing wheel's trying to push him to the outside. Oh, Snowy gets him. Racing, oh, racing wheel nearly loses it and just manages to keep it on the track. But that's uh, Snowy picking up that position now. He's up to P7. Quick look up to Epic Boy in P3. He's now eight tenths behind Ace. So he, he is catching him and catching him quick. He's very. He really is, though. You know, if, if he keeps on going the way that he's going... Uh, you know, with that DRS coming here and this straight coming up in these next few turns, he might be able to cut that down a lot more. But what I think Boy has to remember is he's got six seconds worth of penalties. So when he does get around him, he's going to have to push. He's really going to have to push. With yeah. DRS open at the moment. Oh, we have a spin. We have yeah. a spin in Sector 3. Ooh, uh, is he... Yeah, well, he's Bobby lost, his... lost it. Yeah, lost his front wing as well, unfortunately. As he comes back on, that'll be him nipping into the pits. Oh, yep, yep. He lost let's the go, whole front wing, yeah. Let's go back, let's go back to the Epic Boy action, shall we? Yep, Epic Boy oh. is right on ace right now. Uh, he's really pushing that, uh, that Mercedes well. Yeah. Let's see if we can push him into... Let's see if we can get right up behind him and push him into a mistake. Got another Sector 3. I think that was again... I think he's having a few issues because he's lost his front wing. So that was sector yes, three again, yellow flag. And we got two drivers in the pit right now. We got Play Racing one. Wheel and we got Wooz. Yeah. So ooh, here we go, Epic Boy three tenths behind now. Just can't, he just can't get it quick enough. But Ax, Ax, Ace has uh, picked up a three second penalty. So that pressure is telling. Here oh, we go. Here he goes, he's going on the inside. And he gets a move done. He gets a move done. Oh, oh, yeah, but oh, yeah, but Ace is coming back. Ah, oh, just doesn't quite get the switch back. No, he definitely doesn't. But then he but will have he DRS, will have DRS. coming here. Yep. So will he get the DRS? Ooh, wrong oh, button. no! Epic Boy decides to dive yes. into the pits. Oh, interesting. Let's see what he opts for. I, I'm look. gonna go ahead and guess that I think he's gonna go with the hearts, and then he's gonna end them. Uh, end You're it right. With those on. He is going with the hards. The hards are on. He is just about to leave the pit lane in the hard with hards. Interesting times. Yeah, and, and you know he has a lot of time though. I know that this pit lane is it's a really long one, but he'll be able to stay in front of Milan though. So, so again, it's going to be interesting to see how long Gaming and Ace are going to try to drive with those soft tires. Already on lap t or ten laps, um, they have not pitted yet. So eleven out of twenty nine. Let's see what they decide to do. And GNR is looking good too. He's also on 10 laps on his soft. So 
it's also interesting to see how long he's planning on trying to stay out there as well. Yeah, so you should, it's, I would say you should be looking this lap, maybe the next lap to come in, I would say, for the, for the front two. For one two. I would say, uh, honestly, I'm going to go with lap 13. I think they're going to try to push it to lap 13, maybe 14, and then opt in for maybe even the mediums as well, too. They might be trying to do a strategy with that. So you've got the top three. So you've got you've got gaming ace and a, a GNR, both all on ten laps. Their tires old or ten laps old. There you go. Ace is in. Ace is coming in right now. Let's see what he goes for, shall we? This will I be think interesting. He's going to go with the hards as well. I, I think the hards is what everybody's opting for. No, to just he's going to race on. Nose. He's going mediums. He's gone for mediums. Oh, yes. Okay. Interesting. Okay. That's a very interesting move because, you know, the, the mediums can last long on this track, but with all it, these twists and turns... It's, it's going to be interesting. Epic, Epic Boy is just coming down the pits right now. And they're just coming and out. Of, oh! Yep. It's going to be oh, close. He's he, got him. He gets the move done. He got Walter, him. He's up to third. Walter has just picked up a three-second time penalty for track limits. So we have a bit, it's interesting now, so we have a bit of a mixture. Obviously the top two are still 11 year old soft tyres. You've then got Epic Boy in third with a set of one lap old hards. You've got Ace behind him in a set, set of mediums, which are brand spankers. You've got Milan Snow in a set of softs. Rafael is then with a set of nine year old hards. So we've got a mixed bag there between the, uh, bet between the grid. We, we definitely do, you know, and it's strategy is going to come out, you know. Some of these drivers might be wondering if there's going to be a virtual safety car again or maybe even a safety car to where the strategy could be turned upside down extremely fast. Uh, Powerhouse looks like he's having a hard time in his Alpine, though. Um, almost gets in the way of who was that? Uh, Wuaz, actually. Uh, and Powerhouse is going to be coming back down into the pits. Something's wrong with his car. It has to be. It's not, he isn't having a good race, is he? One lap down at the moment. You know, it, it happens. You know that that's for sure. It's going to happen uh, again. Maybe it's one of those situations he didn't get on his. Um, he oh. didn't get the setup that he wanted. So, go, so gun, uh, GNR has just got a yellow. Uh, just got a time penalty for ignoring a yellow flag. Oh, oh man. Okay, so yeah, so so far going down the grid with uh, penalties, we got GNR with five seconds, Epic Boy with six, Ace and also Milan with three seconds. We have Racing Wheel with six seconds, Woo Woo's with three, and Powerhouse with a whomping nine second penalty. So this is again, we got a, a yellow in sector one. Okay, I think that's Woo. Is that Wu? Oh no, it's uh, Powerhouse. That is power. Yeah, Powerhouse is struggling. There's not something not quite right there, is he? Unfortunately for him. It's he is struggling. Unfortunately. It, it happens though, you know. At least one driver is going to have a, a tough day, you know, especially if you don't have the right setup. But so there, so there. GNR, he's he's pulling away slowly. He's eleven. Uh, he's about ten seconds in front of uh, gaming at the moment, and GNR opts to come into the pit. Yeah, now. so this will be interesting. Your gaming question is: Can Epic Boy, gaming Epic Boy, and Ace get past him? And maybe Milan. This this will be interesting. You've got a whole bunch of four from behind that could get out in front of him. What's it? Oh, and he's got to serve yep. a penalty as well. So he's serving his time penalty. So he is going to be down the order when he comes back out. And he's put on a set of mediums. Let's oh, see where he goodness. let's see where he comes out. Where's Milan? Oh, Milan has lost his front wing. He must have just done that because he's just coming past the bit lane. Yes, yes, he is. Okay, so... And like he team. is oh, out. Oh, and he's out. He is out of Milan the race. Is out. Oh, that was unlucky. That was unlucky. It just looks like he just had too much oversteer and the car turned into the wall. We'll have to wait to see if the marshals are going to go ahead and try to bring out a safety car for yeah. the incident. Yeah, at the moment it's just a, just a yellow flag in that sector at the moment. But I'm intrigued with this battle of 1 and 2 with Gaming and Epic Boy. Keep an eye on that time, especially as uh, Epic Boy's on hard and obviously going to run a lot longer than what Gaming is. This is very true, um, and it looks like they're not going to opt in for a safety car. It looks like they're going to try to just clean that up on the side. 
<laughs> I'm sure Powerhouse would have wanted the safety car, to be honest. <laughs> You know, it, it, it's one of them situations that, yes, unfortunately, you don't want to see the, the safety car, but in this instance, you might want it out. Yeah. The thing is, it would have brought the field closer together as well. It could have brought a mix, especially with the tie choices at the moment. That would, And some of them have only just pitted. It would have mixed it right up. That's exactly true. So, it, it, again, you know, it, it's going to be interesting to see with... Uh, some opting for the hard tire are they going to try to push that car to the end and with these mediums are they going to be able to last so those are the big questions as of right now so if you look at position changes from the start of the race then you've got gaming who's obviously p1 has been up he's gained six positions from the start epic boys down a position obviously started on pole ace is up three positions gni is down two positions Snowy is level pegging. He started at fifth, and he is fifth. Rafa is down two positions. Racing Wheels gained two positions. He's up two. Wuzzle has started at the back of the grid, as we spoke about. He said we might make his way through it. He's up three positions. And obviously, Powerhouse is going to be currently sitting in ninth after two DNFs from Milan and Craig X. Powerhouse has just picked himself another three second time penalty for a uh, track violation. That now puts him up to a 12 seconds worth of penalties. Currently the field is quite well spread. There's no real battles going on. Uh, probably the closest is the front three. You have gaming in P1. Epic Boy is just three and a half seconds behind and Ace is two and a half seconds behind him so this is a battle we're going to concentrate on at the moment we have a yellow in the sector two only briefly back to green now It's going to be an interesting strategy. Let's see how long Epic Boy can go on them hards. Um, I mean, I've seen him practice and he did a softer hard and kept some good pace. But the game is pretty quick. We've got yellow in sector three, which I believe is Wuzza. Looking at him, it is. Wuzza's accidentally spun there. Just rejoined the track. I think his tyres are a bit warm. He's, he's throwing it around a bit. Just waiting for the guys to go past. Nicely uh, waiting to safely re-enter the track, which is what we like to see. So looking at lap times, which we haven't looked at yet. Uh, currently we're looking at the fastest lap at the moment. Was Milan's, obviously, over 124.4. He is now, he did DNF, so he's currently out. So after that, oh, Epic Boys just picked up another three second penalty. That's him up to nine seconds now. This is not going well for him, especially in P2. And Ace being so close behind him. So currently with Milan out, who had the quickest time of a 124.4, we're currently looking at Epic Boy, I think is second with a 125.4, followed by GNR, which is a 125.5, gaming a 125.9. And the other guys are then dropping to the 126, 127s, and towards about with Racing Wheel and Wuzza, 128, and at the back you've got Powerhouse with a 131. So currently as we see it, Gaming is now three and a half seconds ahead of Epic Boy who is carrying a nine second penalty. Not great. You've got Ace then four seconds, four and a half seconds behind him, which is currently a three second penalty. Uh, Racing Will is currently six seconds, Wuzza three seconds and Powerhouse at 12 seconds. Well that's 17 of 29. Be interested, let's have a look at the, the tyre state, shall we? So currently, Rafa is the 50, has a 15 laps worth of on his hard tyres. Be interested to see what happens now. See if the mediums will try and run to the ends, or if they're going to go soft, medium, soft. Will be interesting. I 
think that was GNR then just laughing to a wuzzer there, I believe. Just keeping on Epic Boy time to game and it's it's kind of going up and down. We've got a sector. Let's have a look. Is that Wuzza? Sector one? Got a yellow. Not sure who that was in sector one with the yellow, but he's gone back to green and maybe was I think. Looks like he's struggling a little bit there. Oh no, it's not was it? I believe that actually I believe that's racing we'll just Doing the right thing, moving out of the way of the uh, of the lappers, the cars coming to lap him, I believe. He looks like he's struggling. He's not going very fast at all. Could be some issues here, I believe. It's not like him to be trundling around the track. Maybe there is an issue with the car. So Epic Boys pulled some time back off of gaming. He was. 2.8 behind he's now 1.9 he's kind of gained nearly a second back I don't know if something had happened or he's just put his foot down a little bit but look at this could prove but he needs to get past him and he needs to then make that the nine seconds worth of penalties count as well We're just going to stay on this battle for a bit, as it's probably the closest we've we've got at the moment. And GNR has just picked up another three-second time penalty for multiple warnings of track violation. So Epic Boy's got it down now to 1.3 on gaming. You see the gap closing in there; they're just going past. Uh, uh, who's that? Racing wheel? Yep, yeah, racing wheel just letting them pass. Will he have DRS? He hasn't got... Don't think he's got DRS. No, he hasn't got DRS. Ooh, who's that? Someone the Alpine there just cut in front of Epic Boy. When he's getting lapsed. He's a bit naughty. But Epic's now down to 1.5 seconds. He is really on a charge, Epic Boy is. I think he knows if he can get past him, and he can make them hards last, he could then make that increase and give that 9 seconds past on the penalties and really push, push to the end. Okay, sorry about that. I am back. Had to take care of something real quick over here in the commentator's booth. No problem. Gaming has just picked up a three second penalty. And uh, wave it away. Epic Boy has closed the gap to 1.3. He's really pushing on their hearts now. Um, really trying to put gaming under pressure. And obviously it's working as uh, gaming has just picked up that three, another three second penalty. Oh man, so penalties are just given in given out to a lot of drivers at the moment I see huh well, yeah we only have two without penalties and that's Snowy and R Rafael the only two without penalties at the moment otherwise everyone else is carrying three uh, well gaming three epic boy nine ace three GNR three was a three racing wheels six seconds and powerhouse 12 seconds oh man it, it happens you know it's probably drivers trying to push as hard as they can and make up those times and well you're going to end up in a situation to where you're going to get a lot of penalties and that can that can determine your race you know if you're in second place with 12 penalties you know you can be in third real quick uh it looks like a uh, racing wheel is having a, a tough time with his alpine right now yeah Not he sure was what's uh, going on with him yeah he was cruising around just a, we were looking at just a minute ago he was kind of just cruising around at low speed I was just wondering if he was going to go stick it in the pits or if there was something wrong with the car. Um, I couldn't quite get it. But what we're looking at now, Epic Boy might. He's just literally, he's just coming under DRS range now. If he's struggling just to get to under that one second limit with the with the gaming, but he's getting closer and closer now. I'm just wondering if this time round, if he's going to get that DRS. 
Yeah, it looks like it's, it's going to be coming down to the wire, you know. Uh, again, these penalties are going to determine where these guys actually finish in. So if Epic Boy wants to get in first place, he's going to have to get around gaming here within the next two laps and pull away. Yeah, it's going to be interesting though. So obviously Epic Boy can make them hard last to the end. Question is, can the medium runners make it last to the end for that like, these last eight laps? Or will they... Or will the tires drop off? Will the mediums drop off before then? And by the looks you know, of it, it, they're dropping off already because Epic Boy is closing quickly on gaming. Yeah, you know, with the thing with those mediums, yeah, they got a lot of grip, just like the softs do on this track. They really do. Um, however, the hards will last a lot longer. So that's what it's going to come down to. Is gaming going to be able to push his tires long enough to where he can stay in front of Epic Boy? And can Epic Boy go ahead and just finish off the, the race, which I'm pretty sure he can with 20, 22 out of 29 laps, you yeah. know, I'm pretty sure he can finish him off. So if you look at GNR as well, he's now closing very quickly on Ace. He's only six tenths down, so this is another battle we've got that's going on. This will be for P3, so this is for a podium spot. Both have three second penalties, so they kind of cancel each other out. As rough behind yes, him is, uh, is 52 seconds behind, so this will be interesting. Can uh, can GNR get around him, or will he just put pressure on him to pick up another penalty, then go around him? That's the question. It's, it's going to be a good question, you know. Um, oh, wait, nope. Ace just picked up another three-second uh, time penalty. So, so there we go. That's what and, I was talking oh, about. And he goes off the track just a little bit, and then here goes GNR looking on the inside, and he gets the move done. Yes, nice. So as long as GNR can stay in front, he has a podium finish. But again, both on mediums. So there's one of them risk jumping in for a set of softs if they're going to do it they're going to have to do it very soon if anyone's going to jump in for a set of softs uh, back to Epic Boys right now three tenths behind three tenths behind gaming he is so this is for P1 obviously will be affected by the, the large number of penalties that Epic Boys got but if he, he needs to get around him now and push 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 to get these to get this um, the gap built between them to cancel out these penalties Yeah, you know, at the end of the day, it's uh, it, these penalties are really going to shape to how everybody's going to finish. And so far, GNR, you know, he, he's pulling away slowly. But Ace, I think, is going to give him a run for his money, though. Ace is a really good driver, so he, he's sticking with him. Uh, Epic Boy, though, on the other hand, is actually catching gaming. Um, but again, like I said, he's going to have to try to pass him now. You know, it's now or never. He's, he's struggling. He keep, he's getting it down to about five four temps but then a, and then just as he's doing it he's just i don't know the, maybe the, the, like the third sector game is just slightly quicker than him in that third sector and you then you see, you see the time jump back up again by by a little bit more then it comes back down again so he's got drs let's see what he does down here now he'll have drs now down here now yep and then gaming he's, is playing it safe you know he he's weaving back and forth trying not to give him a toe uh, but Epic Boy is going to come yeah. with another DRS, so DRS. He's and he's got closer. and he's got ERS. His ERS is on now, so he's really gone. Oh, it's gone off again. So he's got sixty-seven. He's got sixty-seven percent ERS left. Um, Epic Boy. So he's got plenty in the tank. Let's see what Gaming's got. So Gaming's got thirty-six percent ERS left. So he's got a little bit to defend, but not as much as what Epic Boy has got. So this could make a interesting battle. And even for th even for the last place on the podium now with 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 GNR and Ace. Ace is right behind him right behind yes, him eight. so GNR currently has 22% worth to defend with the ERS and Ace has a wall Ace is left he's got 20 well 20% yet when I just looked so and he's using it now so now it's time to start using it wi wisely yes yeah, definitely gotta is, use it wisely in it oh, oh look at here look at here boy, boy. Boy. Oh, oh, they touch, they touch. they're taking each oh, other my out goodness. oh my they, god yes they definitely have they both taking each other out that and takes it looks like out the race. Out. <coughs> oh my goodness oh god. yeah they were both were racing hard they were both racing hard but in the end that was just oh and a safety car got deployed so that's the safety car so, a cheap pit stop then it, it will be yeah, I'm pretty sure. Uh, definitely a pit stop because I'm pretty sure, yep, Epic Boy lost his front wing. He's going to have to come in. He hasn't gone in. And he, oh, he, he opts hasn't? to stay out. Wow. That is interesting. That's very Who is, interesting. Who's going to go for the softs? That's the quick. 
Oh, who's that going in? So, Gunner, okay, GNR's, GNR's in. GNR's going to go ahead and come in. Ace, Ace is Mitchell's in. going to go for the softs. Got yeah, to, surely. I think surely. everybody's going to go with the softs. They have come to. There, there's no need to go for mediums or hards so right here. GNR is going for the softs. Ace is yes. going for the softs. This could... Uh, okay, epi some fresh epi softs. So, Epic Boy could struggle here. He, he can definitely struggle. I mean, well, he's got, no front he's, wing. He's I got mean, no, front, no front wing whatsoever. Oh my goodness, like the end of this race is just wow. I mean, between Epic Boy and and gaming, you know, it was just an unlucky situation. You know, both are racing hard and one tries to go on the inside and oh, there you have it. One driver out, the other driver still going, but I don't know why he didn't opt to go into the pits though. He should have. Yeah, this could be uh, this could be one for the stewards I could, the Epic Boy incident. Who is that in the pit? Who's that on the... Had a car out in the middle of the. Oh, oh Ace is gone. Ace is now a DNF. I don't oh, know what's happened there, but Ace has had a DNF. Yeah, yeah, he sure did. I, I didn't see what happened either. No, not at all. I just saw a car in the middle of the track. Unless he didn't warm his tyres up properly and then ended up uh, spinning it. That's the only thing I could think yeah, so of. So it looks like, as of right now, it looks like GNR is definitely going to be in the running to try to to get that podium finish. Well, you got. I I like to think you probably think he's in a good shot with, uh, obviously with Epic Boy with the penalties. He's on hards with no nose cone. How why yeah, he didn't exactly. pit? I uh, I'd like to ask him that. Why why he didn't pit? That's a yeah, strange. I would, I would love to ask him that's a strange thing that he did, especially as he was sat on the pit lane. I'll tell you who's profiting right now. Who started at the back end of the grid? Old Wazza. Oh now now Epic Boy's coming in. But GNR's yeah, coming. In now. So why is GNR yeah, coming I, as well? Maybe there's an issue with his front wing? Epic Boy picks up a five second pit lane penalty for speeding in the pit lane as well. That's him onto 14 seconds. Yeah, 14 seconds, that's... Oh my goodness, that's that's going to get him out of the, the running for the podium finish for sure. So GNR, I'm, not, I'm trying to understand why GNR came back in. He came in, unless he's caught his front wing or something. But he didn't change his or, front wing. Or maybe uh, he may have put on accidentally old tires. Ah, so, so I've, maybe I've uh, just I've just seen in the uh, chat that they put him on old softs, and so he's got a bit of, he's gone to put a bit of fresh on. Oh, he's got, okay, gotcha. Okay, so that, that explains sense. it. Yeah, otherwise that was a very okay. strange. I get it. I get it now. So, so with uh, with Epic Boy right behind GNR, I mean. I think GNR is going to be able to get this as long as he stays consistent because Epic Boy has 14 uh, penalty uh, seconds. So as long as he stays behind, GNR got the got this in the bag. Yeah, and uh, without us noticing, we had uh, Racing Wheels now DNF as well. So we start with 11, we're down to five. But this should be a good uh, should be a good sprint finish to be fair. Yeah, you know, it, it's coming to look like it was uh, week two of our uh, Weltmeister League, you know, where we started with 20 racers and we only ended with uh, 10. So, yeah. same situation is going on here. So, well, let's sit with, uh, sit with GNR behind the safety car for a bit, shall we? Warming his tyres up. It's be interesting. So you've got Raph as well now behind. It's going to be right behind Epic Boy. He's only got three seconds worth of penalties by the way and he's gonna I guarantee he's on a new set of softs as well so Epic Boy could be in danger here dropping all the way down to third yeah you know uh, it, it's really gonna come down to the wire you know can uh, Rayful and Snowy Nevada try to keep up with the front runners and try to get those you know second and third place but I honestly think GNR is gonna go ahead and take this this race win I, I believe so he's got he's got to be the favorite surely he has got to yeah, be the favourite. Favorite. How many more times do the safety car go around? I wonder if they can. These two. I wonder if Snowy or Wazza can catch him now on this next in on this next lap round, and then they'd be in safety car be in next lap maybe. Yeah, I believe the safety car should be coming in uh, this lap here. So it's going to be interesting to see how this is going to play out. Oh, it's going to make it. It's an exciting last few laps of the race. That's for sure. Let's just call it, we should just call it a sprint finish. Because that's what it's going to be. It, it definitely is. 
Ammo but, definitely is. You know, uh, Wuwa's is still actually on uh, some hard tires, trying to catch back up to the to the end of the safety car queue, and Snowy Nevada is still trying to catch up, and he's on five uh, lap old softs. So it's definitely going to be a uh, one fun finish with the five races that we have left. Yeah, you just feel that I think Epic Boy will be kicking himself with them penalties that he's giving himself. Oh yeah, well, it puts it course, puts you know, kind of puts them out. Yeah, so this right now, if uh, Snowy can now, if Snowy is catching him now. He's not far behind the safety car, and if it does come in this lap, Snowy could steal a third place podium off of off of Epic Boy, which I won't be disappointed about. I obviously, really being my, but I won't be disappointed about being uh, my teammate in the uh, tier two, obviously for Williams. Safety car in this lap. Yep. Safety car is in this lap. Marshals. Yep. Safety car is in this lap. Let's go racing. Just in. Queue is is forming up right now. So Snowy has just just got there just in time. That is optimal timing for Snowy there. It, it definitely is, you know. And all he has to do is stay consistent. He doesn't even have to push too hard. All he really has to do is just try to get around uh, Rayfo because, like I said, those penalties. They're, they're just going to offset with the ones who but, have the three second penalties. Yeah, but you look at Wuzza now. Wuzza's at the back behind him in fifth. Epic Boy could drop here from second all the way to fifth. With two laps worth of he racing left. He most definitely will. He most definitely will. Here we go then. Safety uh, cards in. Here we go. GNR's off. Green flag, green flag. Yeah, and they're gone. GNR's kind of got it. Let's see what happens now between Epic Boy and Raf. This is going to be a good battle. It really is, though, between Snowy and uh, Rayful. You know, those two are pretty much racing each other. We Sad go. to say, Epic Boy is just not even in contention as of right now because with one lap left. Him. Oh, here he goes on the oh, inside. Oh, oh, oh he went for it. He kind of went for the inside and touched. <coughs> okay, well, there goes your teammate, your, your, your favorite at the moment. He's in third. If, as long as he can hold this position, he will get second place. Yeah, yes, he will. So I need him to just just dig in there. That's what I need him to. And look what was it started 11th from the grid, and he's now up to fourth. Wow, I mean amazing. I mean, you know, sad to say that you know we had uh, multiple drivers uh, get knocked out of this race. You know, uh, it, it's unlucky that it has to be that way. But hey, you know, these guys must be thinking, I have points. You know, just keep focused, stay to the end, and you'll be okay. Well, it just shows, mate. Consistency pays off. It's it no, definitely does. Wait. It's good. Bit. It's no good being quick over one lap. You've got to be able to do it over 20, 29 laps in this on this occasion. If you can be consistent for twenty nine laps, then you'll you know you'll come good. Yeah, exactly. You GNR, know, uh, here we go on our final lap. GNR is just putting a new fastest lap of one twenty three point seven. Those softs are working for him. Those yeah, new softs. And let's watch. Uh, let's watch GNR. On his final lap around the oh, circuit. Oh, look at this battle uh, back here in the back, though. We have Rayful and Wuaz. Uh, Rayful going on the inside of oh, yeah. Wuaz right now. Uh, breaking hard, and He's he gets it done. Nicely done. Oh, and he spins. And that is Wuaz's DNF on the last lap, unfortunately. Oh, my goodness. Yes, it's just He's up to the top just four Just lost it. Yeah, he just lost it on the way through. We'll just so ride now. now. Can Rayful try to put some pressure on Snowy Nevada to try to get that third position? Yeah, not with two, not with the two second gap, and they both got. So I believe he will because Epic Boy's got 17 seconds worth of penalties. So oh, I think you'll find Epic sure Boy's does. Epic Boy will drop to fourth, Snowy second, and Rayful should Rayful should go to two. Uh, should go to sorry, go to P3. Do is just keep it consistent. Yeah, Don't even keep try it to push it. Don't even nope. try to push it. So here we go. We're on board now with uh, GNR as we go around the. The penultimate bend. Here he comes. Round the last bend towards the checkered flag. Here he comes. And oh, GNR actually has another three second penalty, though. He ah. has another three second penalty. And so this is going to be interesting to see if Nevada yeah. can actually take first place. He's with, got the fastest. He's within three seconds. He's got the fastest lap as well. And that is it. It's over. The it's race over. is over. Let's, let's see. Let's, let's have, see a, let's have a look. I believe I believe Effort Boy has come P4. There you go. There's Water. He was your driver of the day. 
okay, in the Mercedes. And what a drive! And what a drive he had from P11. <laughs> GNR, look at him chucking out his games for free. Oh man, yeah, he sure is. <laughs> Yeah, that trophy, trophy though, great race though. It was a great race, you know. Unlucky yeah. for a lot of the DNF drivers, but you know, everybody came to race. They were racing hard, and it just patience showed. You know, they they just wanted to try to get around as quickly as they could. So, yeah. so I believe that's GNR, GNR first, the snowy second, and I want to say that's um, I can't remember. There you go. Came third. So congratulations yeah, to all of them. Well done. Most definitely congratulations. And we'll hope to see you in a couple of weeks' time for the Italian Imola Grand Prix, I think it is, next one, off the top of my head. Yep, I believe so, yep. That'll be uh, for next week, uh, same time. Uh, if we have anybody in here, if you want to see more of the action, please subscribe and like. Um, you know, we're just starting out, but we are definitely trying to grow our Weltmeister League more. But hopefully we'll see you all next week. Tomorrow, look out for Tier 1 uh, starting at the same time, 8 p.m. UK. And I believe it will be uh, a Mossy will be commentating as me, myself and yourself will be driving. Yep, going to be driving to Moss and Martin. Hopefully uh, I can try to keep it clean and consistent. We'll see what happens. Thank you very much, and we'll speak to you soon. All right, everybody take care.